Welcome to Keith's WordPress tutorial where I show you how to set up a WordPress website using your cPanel and then how to FTP your information, set up your WP config, set up your SQL database, and then turn on your WordPress website. So first thing we want to do is go to your cPanel and you're going to need to go find your MySQL database wizard. and we're going to create a database for her called Prosperity. And we've got a username for her and we're going to give her a password. And of course the password doesn't like but I don't care right now. Make sure you copy this information into a into a file. And I always right click and go grab a text document. And now from here we're going to go set up the WP config file. And you're going to find this file inside of your WordPress folder. I just happened to pull it out, so it's pretty easy to go and find. And we can see here that we want to put this password into this field here. Make sure it's in between these little quotes. And you put your username here, and you put your database name here. And you're going to save it. And the next step is to go to your FTP. And we're going to Anna of Grace. And what I have here is a setup with all of my. WordPress files ready to go, so I simply drag and drop everything into the upper level of the domain. If you put it into a subfolder, Google does not index WordPress as well, and it doesn't actually look like a real website then because it's it's existing under a subfolder. So I'm gonna pause this while it goes and does all of its transfers. I just finished pausing it and uploading. WordPress. Now I'm going to go into the contents and I'm going to grab my plugins and I'm going to drag and drop my plugins and FTP them up to the, the system and I'm going to go ahead and drop in the basic themes that I enjoy using. And once again, I'm going to pause this while it finished transfers. So I finished uploading all the plugins and templates. And this is what your site would look like before WordPress. And this is what it should look like. Uh oh. So I mistyped a password. Hang on a second. Whenever you end up with an error like that, it simply means you've mistyped your password or username in the wp-config file. So simply go in there and double check your information with the SQL database in your cPanel. Now that the uh, now that the install is in there, you simply type in your blog title and your email address. And typically you're going to want to allow your blog to appear in search engines and you install WordPress. It's going to give you this random string of passwords that we go and paste so that we can remember it. And then when we go into the site, we're able to change the password right away and then proceed with anything else we need to do with WordPress. So I hope that this basic tutorial demonstrates how easy it is to set up a WordPress. Have a wonderful day.